poor people like those living in Nairobi's Kibera slum find it difficult to access emergency health care, even where public services such as clinics and hospitals are provided within the slums. The high cost effectively bars most Kibera residents from calling an ambulance. It's a challenge Moses Omondi, who was himself born and raised in Kibera slum, has taken on. He formed a community emergency response team that provides services to slum residents for a fee of one US dollar a month, including ambulance transport to the hospitals. If you have an ambulance, you can easily access an hospital. Because no hospital or no hospital should deny you services when you've been taken there by, by an ambulance. It means it's an emergency case that needs an emergency attention. Annette Okumu is one of about 300 subscribers to the ambulance service. She says she received potentially life-saving care inside the ambulance after an accident last year. The condition I was in wasn't that good. I was really having a very bad headache. I was bleeding, so maybe I could have overbled if I couldn't have gotten the first aid services. The service is supported by non-profit groups and other benefactors. So far, there's one ambulance for an estimated 250,000 residents in the Kibera slum. Officials hope to increase the number to five. Ambulance services in Kenya ordinarily cost up to 400 US dollars depending on the needs of a patient such as a ventilator and the distance. Officials say arrangements that provide public access to affordable emergency services are especially important during the COVID era. It's a service that people are acknowledging that um, they, they very much need um, and you'll realize that um, People living within such settings, some of them have never called for an ambulance because they know that if they do call for an ambulance, it's never going to get there or they'll be asked for, you know, a lot of money that they're not able to afford. Residents say the Community Service Emergency Response Team offers hope they will have better access to health care they need. Victoria Amunga for VOA News, Nairobi.